check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up everybody, Coach Quan here, back at another video. Today we're gonna be training shoulders. I'm gonna be teaching you guys my five favorite movements to build bolder shoulders. I know you guys are used to seeing all these crazy jump around, ah, 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 workout movements, all this stuff online that's really more entertainment than it is educational. This new short form series I'm doing is about giving you guys the basics you need to get started and just some things to put into your program to help you get to where you wanna be, all right? So don't forget to click the links down below to get you an online training program that's a little bit more advanced or some training Transparent Labs Supplements. Transparent Labs is a brand that I really mess with. They're, they're my boys. So hit them up as well. Get you some protein pre-workout and stuff like that. But other than that, we're gonna get this workout and have fun. Remember, this is just about education, the basics to get you guys started. If you guys want, click down below to check out my video on mobility that I did for hip mobility. We're gonna do one for shoulders as well, but comment shoulder mobility to show me if you guys want that. Help you guys train pain free. Other than that, this video is gonna be less than six minutes. So let's get to work. Let's have some fun and um, let's make these gains. Let's go. Point. So we're gonna pick up some dumbbells. I'm gonna grab my 15s here, show you guys one of my favorite exercises to start this workout. So we're gonna go on the side, our lateral head here. So we're gonna head up, chest up. We've got lateral raises, we're gonna go 15 reps. I want you to shoot from 12 to 15, depending on how much weight you have, what you have available to you really matters here, okay? So we just go 12 to 15 reps, bringing them all the way up. That's gonna hit the outside of your shoulder, giving that like part of that 3D look, especially when you're looking at someone straight on, you see their shoulders kind of pop out. After you finish those 12, shake it out, 12 to 15. Then we're gonna go a front raise. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can really see what I mean with a front raise. The front raise, I want you to peel your shoulder back and raise straight up, okay? Peel it back and go up. Nice and controlled here. You go about like the same thing, 12 to 15 reps. You can do both arms at the same time or one at a time. Really hitting that front head. So what that does, you're hitting here, so when you go from the side, you get that little bump on your shoulder, okay? So the lateral head, you're gonna be here, hit the outside. And then when you turn, you can see the front. So front raise, front, front head, lateral head when you go lateral. Now, you have those two movements. The third one that I love to do is I bend over at the waist, here sitting down typically, and I go reverse fly. But I like to get my chest as close to my knees as possible. Both arms at the same time is coming up. Now that hits your rear delts. We go like 10 to 15 reps here as well, hitting those rear delts. Now, the way you change things or it fluctuates, make sure when you're training your delts that you, you know, increase the weight over time, don't always stick to the same weights. If you've been doing something for a long time, that's fine, but make sure you progressively overload. So change your rep ranges, you can take it all the way down to five rep max all the way up to like 15 reps, but train for your goals. If you're trying to build muscle, you need to get your hypertrophy right. So I like that eight to 12 rep range. I like to warm up with my sets all the way up to 15 sometimes, but I typically train between that eight to 12 rep range. So make sure you do that. So once you have your lateral raises, front raises, hitting here and here, you hit the back part with your rear delts with the reverse flies, and now shoulder press. So a lot of people like to get their arms all the way out here for a shoulder press, that's not what you want. What you want is to slowly bring your hands in about here and press from there. Pressing like that, getting this right here is gonna hit your shoulders the way that you wanna hit them and help limit some of your injuries. I know a lot of us get injured pressing because everyone thinks you gotta be back here pressing up. Go right slightly in front, nice 45 degree angle with the dumbbells. So not this way, not this way. We're just gonna go 45 degrees, eight to 12 reps here, progressively getting heavier. And I actually like to work to a max of like, most workouts I go to like a six rep max. Really where you're feeling it, you should be sweating, you should be fighting for that workout, okay? So the four movements we've done so far, lateral raise, front raise, reverse fly, and a regular traditional press. Those were great. Those are the basics, that's all you really need. And I love to add, I'm gonna go kneeling for this one. I love to add an upright row, folks. So I'll move the camera back a little bit so you guys can see. So we keep the dumbbells in front of us and we row straight up. Some people say this is bad for your shoulder. I've never felt any pain with it. Just drive those elbows straight up. The elbows are the highest point of the lift. I don't wanna see you doing this. I want the elbows to be the highest point of the lift, driving straight up. Nice controlled again. That nice eight to 12 range, take it up to 15 if you can, but if you do hit 15, that means you take the reps down. So those are my five favorite movements to train your shoulders. But when you're training, again, before I wrap up, make sure 
you know, you work on your mobility, you stretch, bringing your arms across, bringing them up above your head to stretch. If you guys want a dedicated video on shoulder mobility drills, let me know, comment shoulder mobility down below and I'll help you out. But try those five movements, add them to your shoulder workout and then do a little machine work too if you have access and your shoulders will grow great. You don't need all these fancy jump around, hoo-ha, flip workouts. Keep it basic, guys. This is a shoulder basics. I hope you guys love it. Hope it helped. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, folks.